Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. When you think of a forbidden jungle, do you think about that deep, dark, leafy canopy crawling with snakes, insects, and big giant cats? I know I do. However, what we're actually talking about today is a forbidden jungle cocktail. It's a simple five ingredient cocktail that's really, really easy to make and is perfect to whet your appetite for tropical type climates. So let's get into it. Now this is a shaken cocktail and you know what? Grab your shaking glass. I use a glass for my Boston shaker. You can use a tin. Hell, you could even use a mason jar with a lid. Totally up to you. But before we get started, we're always talking about using our cheapest ingredients first. And the reason for that is because if you make a mistake, it's much easier to throw out a little bit of lime juice than it is to throw out a couple of ounces of rum and all the other ingredients. So before we get started, we're going to grab our lime and we're just gonna cut it like so. We'll then cut off a slice, cut that in half, and then cut that into quarters. Now that you've done that, just take these off to the side here. And what we're going to do is grab our measuring device, AKA the jigger, and we're going to squeeze out a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half milliliters of lime juice. All right, perfect. Take these, put this here. Now, that was rather noisy. What we are going to do, however, before we actually put the juice in, is we are going to start with our rum. Now, the original recipe called for an ounce and a half of coconut rum. However, when you include the uh, peach schnapps, you have a very low ABV and a very sweet flavor. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one ounce of Bacardi rum, and this way we'll split the base on the rums. So one ounce is equal to 30 milliliters. Awesome. Now, the next thing I'm going to use is my coconut rum. Now I'm using Malibu coconut. It is made with Caribbean rum and coconut liqueur, so it's technically not a rum. However, use whatever you have that's available to you. Uh, and some of those variations will have higher ABV, so you just have to be careful. Again, totally up to you. And for this, we're now going to use a half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Perfect. And it smells great already. Now, again, I said we were using a peach schnapps. I'm using Dr. McGillicuddy's peach schnapps, a 21% ABV, and we'll use half an ounce or 15 milliliters as well. All right, looking fantastic. Now, the next ingredient that we're going to use is some pineapple juice. And I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice. It's unsweetened. And you know what? We're gonna use four ounces or 120 milliliters. Perfect, look at this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of ice. And what we'll do is we will shake this for a good 12, yeah, maybe 10, 15 seconds, totally up to you, because you're just gonna get it to the dilution that you want. You wanna fill your glass with ice, slap your lid on like so, move this, because you're gonna flip this over like so and shake it with a smile. Awesome. Now pop that off with a strength of a thousand limes. Now the pineapple juice is going to give you a little bit of foam, but we're not too worried about that. We are going to, however, put this in a highball glass. However, if you don't want to use a highball glass, use whatever you want. So what you're going to do, fill it with a little bit of fresh ice. Now you could choose to say, use a, a rocks glass or whatever, maybe even some crushed ice or pebbled ice if you have some. But you know what? Just do what you really, really like and enjoy. And it's your drink after all. It is your drink. Now what we will do, however, is we will fine string this like so. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Now what we are going to do, garnish this with our, just our little piece of lime like so. Grab yourself a straw, I have a steel straw here, and we'll just slide that in like so, and let's give it a taste. Oh, that is very good. You get subtle hints of the coconut this time, a little bit of peach, a little bit of that lime, brought together by the uh, regular rum and the pineapple juice. It is fantastic. It's a perfect backyard sipper, a beach sipper. Uh, you know what? 
It's just really good. I hope you enjoy this. Now, what I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time in my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rock because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic afternoon.